You're listening to The Crypt and I'd like to welcome my very special guest Megan McDonald to the show today. Megan is from Eris in County Mayo and is a singer and an actress. So you're very welcome to the show, Megan. Thank you very much. Well, Megan, you've been singing and acting all your life and you studied performance with Bull Alley <coughs> Theatre Training Company in Dublin. Could you talk a bit about that course and what it entails? Um, basically, it's a great like foundation course for anyone that has been trying to get into performance like in any way. You don't really have to have any experience to go. It, it helps if you do, but, mm-hmm. you know, and you go through um, the basics. You, you get vocal training and uh, dance and movement and classical acting and, you know, everything that, you know, covers all the bases. Yeah, pretty much. everything you'd need. Um, and you do two shows a year, plus at the end of the year, you do a big musical with every, every year combined. So it's really good. Oh, fantastic. And how long would that course run for? It's two years now, it was four, but funding was cut, so it's two now. Now, you've just finished a run of playing Mrs. Lovett in the musical Sweeney Todd in the Civic Centre in Tala. How did that role come about for you? Um, It was actually part of the, it was the end of year show for my final year. So um, it was just lucky for me that it was just happened to be my favourite show. And for those who aren't familiar with it, can you tell us a bit about the plot? Um, Basically, Sweeney Todd started out as a nice young man who was sent away to prison over a bogus charge because someone wanted to marry his wife. Mm-hmm. So he comes back and he meets this woman who's been in love with him forever. That's Mrs. Lovett. And she owns a pie shop, but it's, you know, 1800s London. Yeah. Not going very well. And they just start... Uh, Killing people basically and sticking them in the pies. He's a barber, so he uses that as his well, ruse to get people in. That's not weird for this show, so don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> and then I believe you have a play coming to Belmullet on August 27th, then. Yes, the misanthrope by Moliere. Yeah, it's a French classical comedy, which might be a bit far removed from what people would be looking at these days, but uh, it's very funny. Um, it's about. Basically, it's, it's all set in this woman's apartment, and her name is Selawan, and that's who I play. Mm-hmm. Um, and the man that she loves is Alceste, and he is a misanthrope. He doesn't like the way that people are so false and phony in the French aristocratic society. Yeah. And he doesn't like the way that she gives her attentions to so many people, so it really just is a commentary on the politics at the time like the way people acted towards each other and how it was very you know uptight and yeah. fake you know that sounds very good and so that's in Belmullet will it be going to any of the other centres around Mayo no actually that's the only date we're doing in Mayo it's just the one night in the Civic Centre there we had a run up here um, a couple of good shows in the Sugar Club in Dublin so and then you have a love for the silver screen too can you talk about the full length feature film you were in oh um, that is it's called Almost Young. Um, we're not too sure about the release date just yet, but keep an eye out for the trailer. Um, it's it's by a young director called Ricardo Deacon. He just graduated from DIT Film School. Um, <clears throat> it's just it's a very small cast. It's about a guy who's just losing everything, um, and he's trying to kind of come to terms with his life and you know he, he's a bit of a he's a bit of a slacker yeah and he's he kind of thinks you know everything everything should fall into place for him but now he's freaking out because he's lost his mother and he, he doesn't get on with his father and i'm the love interest nicole uh, <laughs> so uh, i'm just there to kind of help him through it but it's really him just a, it's he's struggling with his his own mental state well, you know, you seem to be doing so well. Like, for somebody to come out of a small town, like I know when I was younger now, living up in Balmolish, all this is <laughs> just a dream to be in movies and in plays. What advice would you give to anybody, you know, who'd live in rural areas who have the dream to, you know, start acting and singing? I'd say just go for it, you know, don't give up. If if there's no facilities there, like, I know there, was, there wasn't much around when I was in Balmolish. There wasn't much, like theatre or anything I was lucky enough to have a teacher from the convent who gave us singing lessons um when we were in fifth year um but just you know you have to keep the head down and try to learn as much about 
you know, whatever it is, singing or acting that you can, as you can and just try and get out of there and get somewhere bigger. Come to Dublin. Galway has a great art scene as well. Like, there's always there's always somewhere where you can make it happen. Yeah, just go for your dreams. Yeah. So true. Can you tell me about your SoundCloud? I believe you post put some of your stuff up there. Yeah, I haven't actually uploaded anything in a while there, but I've, I've done a few covers. Uh, I, haven't, I haven't been quite ready to release any of my yeah. own stuff <laughs> just yet. But I've done a few covers of, you know, popular or not so popular old stuff as well with, you know, a couple of my friends who'd play instruments and they'd give me a dig out there and sometimes I use a backing track, but it's just something I've always liked to do. And yeah. yeah. Well, we'll play one of them today, so we will. Oh, that's you. great. <laughs> and then who, who would you aspire to be like? Who were your influences growing up? Oh God, there's just too many. <laughs> too many to mention. Um, <clears throat> I was always a massive Audrey Hepburn fan. Mm. <laughs> when I saw Breakfast at Tiffany's, I was like 10, and I just fell in love. She's so elegant and, you know, graceful. But I'm a big Tarantino fan as well. Oh, same as, yeah. So <laughs> he'd be a big influence on me. And then where would you hope to see yourself in 10 years' time? Well, whatever I'm doing, I hope I'm happy. I hope I'm, I hope I'm acting or performing in some way or just still involved in the arts. Fair play. Well, listen, Megan, it's been a pleasure to have you on the show. Thanks so much for giving us your time today. Thanks very much for having me.